the annual meeting of the AACR is really the yearly meeting of the world family of doing cancer research. It's an important, very important event, the largest cancer research meeting in the world, which now uh, includes people from academia, from industry, patients and advocates, as well as uh, from government and regulatory agencies. I think it's going to be a really exciting uh, program, uh, as always. These uh, annual meetings always have lots of exciting results. This year in particular, we, uh, we have, I think, a, a major emphasis on immune therapy. There's a lot of excitement going on with new discoveries and how we can boost the immune system to attack the tumors. And we'll see a lot of uh, talks showing progress in that area, uh, as well as uh, evidence that it's beginning to work in the clinic. Targeted therapies are also uh, looking very exciting. Uh, with lots of breakthroughs, understanding mechanisms of resistance, figuring out better drug combinations, uh, and also prevention. We're beginning to understand more about uh, what's causing cancer and how we can change our lifestyles to uh, reduce cancer risks. So I think there's something there for everyone. It's uh, going to be a very exciting meeting. There are many uh, basic science discoveries that are going to be presented. I think uh, one of the major discoveries of the last uh, few years has been uh, the discovery of methods that allow us to do genome editing. That is, uh, modify uh, species of the DNA in order to understand how removal of those cancer genes, for example, affect the biology of some of these cancer cells. These are really novel, revolutionary ways of understanding how cancer genes work. We're going to see an increasing translation of the molecular discoveries at the bench to drug discovery, to clinical trials, early phase clinical trials that eventually are going to lead to registration trials that will be approved for patients. For international research, researchers and investigators, the AACR has an enormous appeal because it's kind of like a one-stop shop where you can come and no matter what area of cancer research you are active in, you're going to find people that are in the same area, collaborators, competitors. You're going to learn of the advances in your specific field. But a lot of the excitement meeting takes place in the hallway where you bump into a colleague and say, oh, what are you doing? Oh, we just had this exciting result. You know, come to my poster or come to my oral presentation. You'll really like this result. So that kind of uh, personal interaction is, is really critical. I think coming to the annual AACR meeting is, is the most critical thing in the, in the career of a young scientist. This is an opportunity when the young people present posters or oral presentations for the leaders of the area to hear what they're doing. The editors of the AACR journals may come up to them and say, please, this looks really exciting, please submit it to my <laughs> journal. So there's the opportunity to enhance the ability to publish and of course to get a job. Uh, you're going to meet the people who are going to be searching for uh, young assistant professors to hire. Uh, this is an opportunity for them to get to know you. And of course, uh, the people who are going to be reviewing your grants are probably going to be in the room as well. It's the meeting where we uh, learn of the year, the last year advances, the implications for clinical research and cancer care, and also where we talk about the next steps for the next year. But the AACR is, is a really unique organization in, in the area of cancer. First of all, it doesn't focus just on one type of cancer. And secondly, it brings together the basic scientists with the clinic, clinical scientists in a way that I think no other organization tends to do. 